video review for you. It's time we're taking a look at Transformers Collectors Club subscription service figure number five. The uh, animated circuit, animated circuit, animated jackpot. Um, here's a repaint of Jazz, animated Jazz, and that's as far as I know about the, the character because I don't didn't watch animated. So yeah, uh, bio card. So I always forget to show these off. If you want to see his tech specs, there's his tech specs. If you want to read his bio, like I said, you can pause it, read the bio. Cool artwork. So yeah, first and foremost, the biggest problem with this figure is this hood does not stay closed. I don't have any experience with the animated jazz uh, figure, so I have no idea if this is like a problem with the mold or if it's just the remold, the repaint, I have no idea, but it's almost impossible to get this hood to stay down and keep the rest of the figure. Like if you mistransform the rest of the figure, like if you pop panels off, it'll stay closed better. But I'd rather have the panels all lined up and as soon as you do that, the hood pops up. Nothing I can do about it. But he is a cool little sporty car. Huge side mirrors, big exhaust, very uh very like Kuframe Roger Rabbit E. It's very kibbly underneath. Why is his hand all jacked up? It doesn't matter, I'll fix it later. So yeah, like I said, you can it's very kibbly, but yeah. Anyway, rolls very nicely. Uh, it is also a very, very simple transformation. So get down to it, transform it. Just want to wiggle it and crack the back in half. Fold it out. That also pops these bits out for the knees. There's, it feels like there's a ratchet in there, but it's like where the legs want to go. It'll like kind of snap into place. So watch for that. Pop out the feet from behind. Split the legs. The hips are very stiff. It feels like uh, there's excess plastic in there. It wants to be in certain positions. Like if I just pull it like this and just, just snaps right back. Don't know again if that's just me or throw like this, but take this little triangle bit and that will fill in the chest later. Then we're going to come here and split the, pull the arms out, make sure the hands are folded out like so. Lift the arms up and then fold the chest down. You want the you want to lift the arms up because as you can see the wheels will go in into the chest. That's the way you want them. There you can see the triangle piece that fills it out. Now you kind of come over here, fold them, fold down the arms. Everything is very stiff on this guy. Um, according to the instructions, you're supposed to fold these around and then fold these up. But again, I guess you can really do this any way you want. You can just leave them like that. I think they look at least like that. But if you want, you can fold them the rest of the way. And there goes that. And fold that out. Uh, unfortunately, the chest does not lock in. It just sits there. You can hear a click. I don't know what that actually is that's clicking. But it doesn't actually lock into place. So yeah, there is, that's it. Circuit in his uh, robot mode. Like I said, I have no experience with Jazz, so I don't know if this is an upgrade or a downgrade to that mold, but the colors are nice. I don't know the character in the slightest, so I can't attest to any of that. But I can't get him to stand very well because his legs just want to keep snapping back. So yeah, his his face is actually very cool. It's going to be hard to... Let me try to get in on an angle so I can show you. Got to pull back a little bit. Yeah. His face is very cool because he has a smirk, and the smirk actually goes around the side of his head. That's pretty cool. Head, as far as articulation, head is on a limited ball joint because the neck is pretty huge. This is the first time I ever moved the neck. That's why you heard it snap like that. Um, shoulders are on a ball. Uh, double hinge at the elbow. Double hinge at the elbow. Wrists fold in. Um, they're actually on a ball joint. I didn't notice that. I thought they were just on a hinge. Wrists are on a ball joint. Nothing at the waist. Hips are on a ball joint, but like I said, be careful. They're very stiff. 
uh, cut at the knee. Nice bend at the knee, mostly for transformation. And foot does uh, have a pivot, have a hinge. Like I said, you gotta watch out for the waist because it likes to snap back into place. So it's very hard to get this guy to pose in any meaningful way. Um, his weapons are actually his exhaust pipes. As you saw, me pop one out. But you just pop them out and they're actually nunchucks. And you just split them. And that's it. Um, I found the easiest way to get them in his hands is to um, just push them up from the bottom. Just watch. Yeah, come here. I'm kind of worried about that nylon string breaking. But just fold, push them in like that. And drop them flat on his face because he's drunk. Same thing on the other. There's a... They peg together when you put them in, so there's a tab on one side. I usually make him hold it with the untabbed nunchuck. Tailpipe, whatever. And there we go. There he is, all nunchucked up. So apparently Animated Jazz had nunchucks. So now Jackpot does two. So yeah, um, like I said, he's almost impossible to pose because of these stupid hips want to pop back in. Like I really, if somebody out there has this guy, the uh, regular Animated Jazz version, or even this version, let me know if your hips are incredibly stiff and like to pop back into place like this because I can't get him to stand properly or pose properly. Except the arms, I can get the arms to... The arms are stiff too, but at least I can move them. And they don't want to snap back into place. So yeah. Um, tracking this guy down, sure, if you're an animated fan. I know there are plenty of animated fans out there. And I know there are people actually looking forward to this guy. So um, if you like the character, sure he's great, his colors are great, the facial expression is great, the headlights are very cool, the red, all the red details, all the black and the red, paint is gorgeous, it's just I don't really care about the character. Um, I don't watch anime because if I, I haven't watched it yet and if I do watch it I have a problem with things like that where I want to buy all the figures for the show once I see it. So I'm kind of trying not to watch it yet because I don't want to spend all that money. but. Yeah, watching Japanese D1 is not good for me. But yeah, this is... if you Like I said, if you do like this guy and you want to track him down and you're not a subscription member, um, he is very cheap everywhere. Uh, TF Source and BBTS have him for like less than cost. I think like $30, $35. So, if you want him, then you can get him easily right now. And there's plenty of people selling them. But, yeah, stay... So yeah, if you do want him, he is very easily obtainable if you're not part of the club or part of the subscription service. But uh, yeah, there you go. If you're an anime fan and you like the character, he's awesome, but otherwise, easy pass. Uh, yeah, so this has been the video review for Transformers Collectors Club Subscription Service 1.0 Animated Jackpot.